Hello and welcome to SmartSpeed onboarding series. My name is Artem, I am a product manager at SmartSpeed. In this episode, we'll cover the basic concepts of the platform to make you feel comfortable, to make you feel at home when navigating in SmartSpeed. We have a lot to cover, so let's dive in. Right after logging in, you will land on the homepage. And this is where you will see a list of solutions that you have access to. Think of solution as a top-level container for your data. Each one is dedicated to a specific business process or represents a part of the company's structure. Sales, CRM, marketing, IT, support, all of these would typically have their own solution, keeping the data structure clean and organized. In this tutorial, I'll be using my sales CRM solution. Once we are in that solution, we will see the list of its tables, and every solution must have at least one. In this case, I have tables for customers, contacts, quotes, and orders. Every table, by definition, is a collection of rows and columns, or in terms of SmartSpeed, records and fields. Records and fields are presented to us through a view. Each table can have multiple views. They are shown in the panel on the left. The current view, Active Clients, shows us data that is grouped, sorted, and filtered in a certain way. And I can use this view as a shortcut every time I need to access this specific slice of data. Let's see what happens inside that customer record by expanding the record page. This is where I can see and edit all the details of a selected customer. First of all, there are several layout options to choose from. Within each layout, I can reorder the fields the way I need them to be. For the ease of use, fields can be grouped into sections and sections can expand and collapse. From the page settings, we can control which fields should be displayed or hidden on the page. And on top of that, define conditional rules for when a section needs to be displayed or hidden. All these tools give you ability to customize the record page so that it fits your workflow perfectly. Let's take a moment and talk about the possibilities for collaboration. Comments panel lets you have discussions with your teammates around the current record. You can add mention people and even assign comments to them. When it comes to external communication, let's say with a client, you can send and receive emails from this panel as well. And if you connect your Google or Outlook account, all those emails will be synced and displayed in your main mailbox. Now when we are back in the solution, let me mention that you can access automations and permissions features from the solution menu right here. We have dedicated tutorials on both of these features, so you can check them out later. The magnifying glass icon you see in the top left brings up the built-in search engine, the Power Search. You can also access it from the home page or by simply applying a command K shortcut. Power Search scans data from all solutions, tables, records, and fields that you have access to. As an example, let's search for that client record I was showing you prior using a part of their address. And when it brings back the result, we can jump straight to that record. Another standout feature is the members directory. This is where you can see a list of workspace members and access information from their public user profile. By searching through this list, project managers, for example, can find the right resource for the task, see their status, and even download their contact card and share it externally with a client, let's say. And finally, I have to mention my work. My work displays every item that is assigned to you across the entire workspace. And very often you will be working in multiple solutions, so your tasks might be spread across tables and records. My work brings them all together into a structured and manageable list. For example, here I'm viewing all my assignments from their due dates perspective. And not only I can view them, but I can also modify the due date and the status without going into the actual record. In case you need help with any part of SmartSpeed, it's just a click away. From the homepage, go to the help and resources. This is the central place for all sorts of user guides, help articles, and video tutorials. I will see you in the next one.